Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Hussein Moin, who is Executive Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for Nokia Mobile Networks. Hussein, thank you very much for being with us today. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank now, you. I'd like to start off by asking you, what do you think is the single greatest opportunity offered by 5G and the greatest challenge to its implementation? I think actually 5G for the first time tries to address some of the challenges that we have as a race, as a human race. And for that I would include environmental challenges as a prime area where I see a lot of opportunities for improved efficiency, automation, for ensuring that we actually meet our obligations towards our mother planet Earth. So I think that is the single biggest opportunity, but there are many challenges. Maybe highlighting one would be unfair, but I think maybe creating the right incentives for people to actually invest in these networks would be one. Creating the right harmonization for spectrum from a regulatory perspective would be a second one. And making sure that we have the right set of applications and collaboration with verticals where the impact of our technology will be uh, most felt would be a third one. So maybe those three would be among the key challenges that we need to solve. What about creating value in the digital economy? How can uh, 5G contribute to that? So I think 5G expands the range of applications of mobile networks to well beyond what is traditionally known as the data access, voice, and messaging. So with 5G, our target is to extend what we've done in LTE, which is create a fourth possible set of applications for mobile networks. We see now there is a concept of narrow band IoT. 5G will implement uh, this in the next level. We've seen things like digital health coming to real life with mobile networks. 5G will actually implement that in a next level, autonomous driving. So 5G will have many characteristics that will help it not only address uh, mobile broadband use cases, but also real-time use cases, ultra-reliable use cases, and IoT use cases, all designed within the same network. And what single device, solution, uh, technology, or service do you think is going to have the greatest impact in the industry in the near future? So uh, let's define what near future is. I think in the very near future, it will be virtual reality, immersive uh, multimedia, because uh, you know, there's a saying, uh, future is already here, it's just not evenly dispute, uh, distributed. So I've had the fortune of seeing some of what happens next, and truly immersive 3D is very compelling as a user experience. So I think that will have an immediate impact. But in the long run, I think, application of our technologies to healthcare, automotive, energy, cities, homes, offices, uh, will have a real positive net impact on how we live, work, and play. And in terms of uh, collaboration, no man is an island, uh, how important is collaboration for you in your work and, and for Nokia? Perhaps you, if you could share some examples with us. So I think actually uh, collaboration is not an option, it's a must for our industry. Our industry uh, contributes upwards of $3 trillion per annum to the global economy. And the reason it's so successful in such a sh short time is that it is based on standards. It is based on collaboration. We compete fiercely with our uh, Swedish or Chinese uh, competitors, but at the same time, we also collaborate significantly to make sure that the benefits of our technologies are reaped by the humanity as a, as a whole. So it is essential. As an example of this, together uh, with our competition as well as other verticals, we've established 5G Automotive Association two, three weeks ago in uh, Europe. And this is really to ensure that cars can talk to each other. And I think our industry is a shining example of how, uh, good, how much good can come from collaborating with one another. Say moin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.